take off now. Well, since Omicron was identified, the administration expanded booster eligibility now to everyone over age 16. It also put some new travel restrictions in place, but there haven't been many policy moves directed at Omicron beyond that, let alone public messages that this is serious and things need to change. Oh, it's serious, to folks. Tell you that. And the messages they have put out have garnered criticism. Wait, explain that. What kinds of messages have they put out so far? <laughs> well, during Friday's White House COVID-19 response briefing, the response Full coordinator, Jeffrey Resigns said essentially, if you're vaccinated, you've done the right thing. If you're not, you're in for a dark winter. It's a moral and that thing. has gotten a lot of pushback. A lot of public health experts point to the fact that stigmatizing people has never been a winning public health strategy. Here's Bill Hannage, an epidemiologist from Harvard. You don't actually get people vaccinated by x-ray, but it requires a shot in the arm, not a wagging finger in the face. It definitely hit a nerve with parents of young children who are too young to be vaccinated and healthcare workers who have done the right thing but still have to deal with being overwhelmed with patients. Hannage does say that up until recently, he thinks the administration has done quite well in its response, but it has not managed to step up in the face of this new threat. Okay, so new what threat. types of actions does he and others you've been talking to think the administration should be taking now? Yeah, there are actually a lot. I talked to Lindsay Wiley. She is a health law professor at American University. And she says, yes, several of the bold actions the administration tried to take in the fall, like vaccine mandates, have been blocked so far in the courts. But there are things the White House could do now without any help or funding from Congress. One big step they could take now would be to free up access to rapid tests and I think also higher quality masks. Fantasy flu 19. Can you believe people actually listen to this crap? It's amazing. It has a lot of power with its guidance. It could make clear what to do if you test positive with Omicron. How long exactly oh you have to isolate or quarantine. How they make also up these guidance names. on what to do if you can't find a rapid test, which is a situation a lot of us are in right now. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have that many, how you can ration the tests you do have. Wiley says all of this would really help not only everyday people, but also institutions and local health departments that are scrambling to figure out We need the government so bad spreads this fast. for this okay, fake well, flu. President Biden is scheduled to speak tomorrow. And I'm curious, you know, what kinds of things are you hearing from your sources about yeah, what yeah. they want to hear from the president? Well, he's expected These to are the type of people that are moving into Austin that live in the buildings masks, here. Get vaccinated, get boosted. There are indications Wear your WASP, please. The rapid at-home test problems we've been talking about. Hinnage told me, in terms of tone, he hopes the administration drops the message that if you're unvaccinated, you're in trouble. And also, he says he hopes they step up with more communication. He tweeted over the weekend, where the ever-loving hell is CDC on messaging? The situation is changing day to day listen. at just such a remarkable rate. I, I just can't believe people listen and believe any of this stuff. It's, it's mind numbing.